what's up, Haunted Falls Paranormal? This is Jordan, and I am getting called back out to Richie. Uh, some of the slaves that were buried in unmarked graves are calling me back. So, let's see. Let's go on an adventure, shall we? Happy hauntings! in the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations all my friends are turning green yeah the magician's assistant in their dream oh What's up, everybody? This is Jordan from Haunted Falls Paranormal. I'm out here in Richie Cemetery. I was called back here. Um, as I pulled up, the slaves want to talk, so I'm going to see if they want to channel through me or they want to come through the Necrophonic Gap or the uh, as Spirit Box X SP7, what have you. So uh, I did clairvoyantly see that there were slave women moving. They had the the white scarves on their heads and I saw like this shirt. It was like blue lines. It was white with blue lines down her. And I just saw like a mass of them just moving through the woods. Like they would be moving in my time. 3D like us. So uh, I'm going to go over there and we're going to see if they want to talk. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, this is Jordan. I'm back. We're walking down Richie Cemetery Road and I want to see what these former slaves want to talk about. Now they did say a lot of stuff at West Fork and I know that they pretty much kind of filter a flit three. But that's not the word I'm looking for. So I watch to see what that sheriff's doing. Uh, just come through like West Fork and, Cim and the cemetery. So um, let's put on the Necrophonic app and see what we can what we can get, shall we? Take and forgive me for taking a break for so long since West Fork. That one was very intense, and I had to rename it. I felt intuitively that I needed to rename it. So, so I did. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yep. The sheriff pulled over here, so I don't think he's going to pay me no mind. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, does anybody want to talk?
Hey, does anybody want to say anything? I think I heard why'd you why'd you pull her out? Whew. I see a, an African American man pulling a little girl out of the water. He's pulling her out of the water. She's wearing she's wearing a white dress. And I can see her, it's got puffed up sleeves and right below, right before the knees. Very old timey, I'm just since the 1950s. And I've sensed this before. But this might be a different time, I don't know. That's just all I'm getting. Is there anybody? That wants to talk? Georgie, are you here? Ruth? You guys don't have to be afraid. Okay, in this area over here, when I looked towards it, I saw a man with a button-down shirt, elderly gentleman, He's showing himself to me. Or he's probably standing right next to me now. Yep, he's standing right next to me. He was leaning on by a grave, and that's what I keep seeing, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Heard I'm a fish. I'm here to help you guys, give you a voice. I heard, hey dad, I heard. Don't kill him, this is George. Randall Laverne, are you here? Okay, I gotta get away from this one, this grave right here. I'm getting shortness of breath. Whew. Oh, God. That's very strong. I'm not sure. That's, a go that's its guardian, Laverne's guardian right there. Any McGarveys? Clifton? Geyer? Can you can you speak through the necrophonic app? James Clifton, Billie Jean. Well, James Clifton, thank you for your uh, service, sir. Is 
Is this Tessa you Don Adams? Is that what I just heard? Uh, Definitely hearing a baby come through here. Wow. Heard Hunter. Hunter. I heard Hunter come through. Mr. David Lynn Adams, did you like music? Are you a songwriter? I heard bring it. That fresh grave? I heard, I heard, you're tough. <laughs> well, gee, thank you. I'm appalled by that one. <laughs> One just said, bitch. They called me a bitch. Boy, I got some spicy ones. That hurts. What hurt? Okay, I'm feeling in this area a little boy was hit over the head. Something heavy. I see a brick, and he died from his injuries. Couldn't he, I feel, and I'm picking up, he's about nine years old. Yeah, I'm gonna move to another part of the cemetery. This cemetery is very, very beautiful. I just love being out here. I love it when the spirits call me back. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pan around a little bit for you guys. Cemeteries existed for the Victorian times, Victoria days, to people to actually come and eat lunch with their loved ones. And this is before public parks actually existed. So when the public parks exist, started to exist, you ate at the cemetery less and less. Just so history goes. They're over here. They're over here. Told me to leave. And what are you gonna do if I don't? What are you gonna do if I don't leave? slave women y'all wanted me out here I'm feeling them very strongly right over here we were killed by master I just keep feeling that they were unalived by their master I just see a woman, a slave woman, and a foreman. She's got like a dark skirt on, um, from what I can make out, like a maroon turban on her head. Very elderly woman. He's beating her, the foreman, master, she calls him, with a whip. It took, and I'm seeing seven lashes on the back. It took, and I'm getting, not like I'm physically hearing her say this, but I'm like feeling it and clear audiently hearing my spirit ears are hearing her. It took seven lashes to bring me down. 
And that's what she's telling me. I come from the path of West Fork, and that's what I'm feeling her tell me. So my attention is drawn over here. To this area. She's very heavy. It's very heavy. Seven lashes and I just keep getting the back. I see the back. It's like I'm feeling the pain. I'm feeling the pain that they feel. Oh. Oh. I'm feeling the burning sensation on my back from the whip. Oh Lord, that, oh God. Oh God. The energy's very strong over here. The opening of a grave at Wells Fork. Literally throwing a woman in that grave. Now here, Lake Charles really didn't have, at least the city itself didn't have, um, it wasn't big for slavery, but that didn't mean that they didn't pass through here. And that didn't mean that any, none were bought and sold. Oh my God, because I'm, honey, I'm seeing it. I'm foreseeing it. Who is Master's name? Can you give me his name? Come on, guys. Can you give me the name? I'm, I'm seeing an African-American man and I'm getting the name I'm getting the name James like he was pushing the name his image and the name into my mind he stands right at the front of West Fork at the entry like a sentry because I remember I, when I was at West Fork and you see in the video if you watch it that I do see somebody walking towards the gates I'm wondering if that was James. I heard a spirit, I heard a spirit say I'm an alcoholic. I heard that one. Definitely heard that one. Can you tell me anything, guys? Any Jacksons? I just heard my name. I heard a man, Jordan, like right in my left ear. So uh, we're going to go this way. I heard the name Carson earlier. Grant, I have a friend named Carson, but I know they weren't speaking about my friend. But here is the name, and spelled the same way, too. So, Carson Logan, there you go. Hey, Carson, you said you uh, said your name. You want to speak through? Next, find a gap. Yeah. 
They said, is it hot? Like, yes, it's very hot. <laughs> it is very hot. I'm pouring my face is pouring buckets. Come on, guys. Say some. Come on, baby, you don't have to be afraid. There's a child I feel that is very, very afraid of her father. She was beat by my daddy. I was beat by my daddy. She's blonde, little blonde, four years old. I'm so sorry, sweetie. You're safe here. You're safe. You ain't gonna beat you no more. You want to talk in the necrophonic app? Can you tell me who you are? It's okay, baby, it's okay. She is, she's got her hair cut short and she's wearing a long night, white nightgown. I see a teddy bear and she's got her thumb in her mouth and that's what she's projecting to me. That's what she's clairvoyantly showing me. <coughs> oh, yeah. Somebody was either choked or they were trying to choke me. Were y'all trying to choke me? Hey guys, I am here at Richard Todd Ryan's grave and the Ryans. They're my home away from home and over here I felt something like my chest wanted to go back and I just keep seeing a tank top like my tank top wants right here like wants to go red with blood. And someone I felt, a male figure, African American male, got shot with a shotgun. He got, excuse me, he's telling me he got blasted with the shotgun. In his own home by his wife because he was sleeping with the neighbor. I really don't know what to say about that one, sir, but there could have been a better way to go about it. I'm really sorry that happened to you. I heard you should be something. Couldn't pick everything up that I heard. And I was physically hearing this. Oh man, this spiritual awakening thing, folks, this is no joke. It really isn't. You have to be brave enough to walk alone. Hey Richie! Got the necrophonic gap on if you wanna I'm gonna put it right here. Rich, you can manipulate it if you're here. Can you tell me through it? Are you here? Richard Lee, Mary now. Come 
Come on, guys. Give me a sign. Give me a sign through the camera. Give me a sign that you're with me. I heard Kenny. I thank everybody for talking today and the slaves and everyone telling me their stories and clairvoyantly showing me what's going on. Um, on behalf of me and Richie Todd and the rest of the spirits here in Richie Cemetery, as I always say, happy hauntings!